The Bannerton Solar Park is a unique solar park um, in that it's intertwined with a almond farm. Um, it's based up in northwest Victoria, near Mildura, and the Clean Energy Finance Corporation has been delighted to be involved as a senior debt provider to this project. Bannerton is a really fascinating project which shows the integration and the collaboration that can occur between agricultural and solar generation. What we have here at the site is actually alternating fields of solar generation and almond farms. And what we've done is we've actually built the solar generation where the agricultural land value is very low and actually there was no purpose there for almond farming on those particular spots. So we've managed to maximise the land use in this area. The Clean Energy Finance Corporation have been a great debt capital partner for this project. They really understand the sector and they really understand what it takes to actually deliver these projects. And that's really helpful when it comes to developing and building these projects. The solar industry, and in particular utility scale solar, like the Bannerton Solar Park, is of key importance to the Clean Energy Finance Corporation and is a key pathway to decarbonising the Australian grid. Foresight is proud to have been an instrumental part of Bannerton. We've been here since 2016 doing the development of the solar park from when it was just a flat piece of land through to construction and operations. So beyond the local community benefits that Bannerton provides, we also provide broader benefits to just electricity users in, into the grid. So we provide offtake to power Victoria trams, so Yarra trams, and just generally out into out to the households in Australia. What excites me about this solar park is that it's a unique example of agriculture and technology being the solar farm being intertwined for mutual benefits. The existing uh, agricultural play of almond farms receives a secondary income revenue source from the land lease associated with the solar park and the solar park is built on substandard soil uh, where almond trees do not exist. As such, there is a mutual benefit to both the solar farm holders and the agricultural owners of the land that will be played out for at least the next 25 years.